What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Lucha. It's your boy Chico Rico. This episode number six. Last week, I brought you a figure from the McFarlane Toys. <sighs> that word's hard for me to pronounce. <laughs> this week, I got another one. And I got the box right next to me. Hold it. There it is. The prime box. There it is. The infected Superman. This guy is literally sick, you guys. Guys, want to check him out? Let's go. Alright, so there we have them, looking sick. That's the front of the box, DC Multiverse, the infected Superman. He is also part of the collect to build a figure, the merciless wave. He comes with the legs, as you can see. And those are his hands, we'll take a look at those in a minute. But yeah, it's ages 12 and up, right there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back of the box. Boom. We have some art on the back of the box. It looks like he's flying towards... Probably the Batman who laughs. I think he's flying towards the Batman who laughs. Kick his ass. Anyways, shows right there how to build the Merciless. The two legs that it comes with. Other figures to build the Merciless. And yeah, let's take him out of the box and take a closer look. All right, here we have the accessories out of the box. There's the trading car, Superman the Infected. The two legs to build the Merciless. The DC stand and two interchangeable hands. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the actual figure now. All right, there he is out of the box. Superman the Infected. This guy is from the Batman and Superman comics, 2019. His real name, of course, is Clark Kent. He is 6 feet and 3 inches and weights 235 pounds. I'm not going to read the whole card for this guy because there's quite a lot to read. I'm just going to read the main reason why he looks like that. It says right here, in order to infiltrate the Batman who laughs, Superman infects himself with the super billion's deadly nanotoxin and goes undercover as one of the infected. So he's not bad. He just looks bad. Alright. Let's take him off his little DC stand. Boom. Look at that face, you guys. They did such a good job on the sculpture for the face. Look at that. Oof. You see those little lines around his eyes? The shading they did. The wrinkles around the mouth, the teeth. They even did this little curl that Superman has. <laughs> so that's badass. Look at that. This is basically what you get if you mix the Joker and Superman. The Superman logo seems like it was also sculpted on there because you can feel it over his suit. It's, it's, it's all right, it's all right. Okay. You have the diaper, the Superman diaper, the belt. Okay. Muscle definition over this guy. The boots right there. See those? You can have a little articulation on the boot. You see that? We'll get to articulation in a second. The cape. Whoa. The cape, you guys. They did such a good job on the cape, too. Look at that. All the wrinkles they did on the top. Looks all torn up from battle. And it's also made of this like super soft, high quality plastic or rubber, wherever it is. It feels really nice. Really, really nice. Okay. Let's get the articulation for this guy. So, that's as far as he's going to look up. Head. He looks down. As far as he's going to look down. Okay. Whoa, that looks creepy. Okay, it does spin all the way around. Arms. Okay, that's as far as they come up. Okay, wrists. The wrists are able to go all the way around. Yep. Double joint on the arms. Yes. The torso. Eh, that's as far as you're going to be able to spin him. Yep, that's it. He leans backwards. Forwards, that's it. Okay, can you do a split? Let's check it out. Okay, alright, decent. Okay, let's see. Can you kick this as far as his leg come up? Back. Okay, that's it. His legs are not really able to go forward or backwards because of the diaper. 
but he does have double joints on the legs right there see that he also has a ball joint on his boots so you can spin all the way around and, yep right there that's the articulation for this guy Try to put him on the stand real quick again. Boom. Yes, sir. Take a closer look right there. This guy looks pure evil. That sinister look on him. But he looks badass, of course. Anyways, I'm going to do a little quick comparison. Size him up. And then we're going to put him on the platform and make him spin. All right, here we have him standing right next to Senior Cobra and Senior El Misterioso. Finally got him name. Anyways, but those are my four inch figures. Let's go ahead and take a look how tall this figure is. Get this guy's out of the way. Pew. Take measure real quick. All right. So from the top of his boot. All the way to top of his head. This guy is exactly seven inches. Yep. Which translates to 17 centimeters. Yep. All right. Let's go ahead and make this guy spin. Boom. There he goes on top of the stand, the Superman infected. I got the new set of hands on him, and as you can tell, those new hands give him like a whole new attitude. Look at those fingers. It's definitely the fingers. Look at that. Boom. Yes, yes. Overall, very well sculpted, very well painted, especially on the face. But where this figure has problems, of course, is on the articulation. He only has limited articulation on some joints. And I feel like his suit, it's not blue. I feel like it's more purplish instead of blue. Maybe because it is infected. I don't know. Anyways, my final rating for the infected Superman by MacFarlane Toys. I'm giving this guy an 8. Yes, yes. 8 out of 10. Alright. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. Drop me a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. What else? That's pretty much it. All right. Until next time, you guys. Don't forget. Always, always, always. Five for dreams. Boom.